yourself. Do not trust the lullaby coming from the back of your closet. It's just your box full of memories hissing, an attempt of convincing you that old times are better than what you have now. Or, alternatively, if you choose to hide it under your bed, do not let its flames seep into your dreams. Your subconscious will try to sew flashbacks back together, and those are realities that should never exist again. In fact, it's probably more painful trying to relive them than trying to live without them, because see, nostalgia can be a liar. And just because you were smiling doesn't mean you felt happy. Just because you were posing doesn't mean you felt pretty. Listen, your history does not fit into that photograph. It does not fit into a shoebox. It doesn't even fit into your room filled with kicked on ticket stubs, and wristbands, birthday cards, and notes passing class. Your history is your mother's pajamas. And the shape her body carved into the couch every day while she tried to remember what it felt like to feel anything at all. Your history is baseball caps. Basketball shorts, bullies, and then lots of makeup. Your history is your father's bankruptcy. Your history is soggy bed sheets, soggy pillowcases, and soggy blankets. I want your history to sound pessimistic as fuck, so you don't think back to shit like sleeping over at Sarah's house and how you gave each other blind makeovers, even though you already knew every inch of her face and could picture it under your blindfold. But when your eyes were closed, and when you laid in bed, Side by side, and you felt her presence sinking into your body, not knowing what that was, feeling excited and nervous. Before you want to jump into that, back into that fire, remember, your nostalgia is a liar. Because you romanticize the past. So romanticize now how you ride with mountains on the back of motorcycles with a rainbow cape tied around your neck, flipping off douchebags on the highway. Romanticize now how. You no longer have to open your mother's eyes in the morning to remind her she's still alive. Romanticize how you have enough strength and confidence in one of your goddamn pinkies to point an army where you want it to go. Fuck nostalgia and romanticize the history you are making today.